Elhamdülillah Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Nesta'inuhu ve nestağfiruhu Ve nes'aluhu kiramete fîmâ ba'del mevti lena Ve li cemî'il mu'minîn Ve na'udhu billahi min şurûri enfusina Ve min seyyiâti a'malina Men yehdillâhu felâ mudille leh Ve men yudlil felâ hediye leh Eşhedü en lâ ilâhe illallah vahdehu lâ şerîke leh وأشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمدا أرسله الله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون وبعد قال الله تعالى عز وجل في الكتاب الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال أيضا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون وقال أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إنما يتقبل الله من المتقين وكان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يدعو وهذا الحديث عن عبد الله ابن مسعود recorded by Muslim اللهم إني أسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام Respected brothers, sisters, youth, children and esteemed elderly Today is 28th of Ramadan We are almost at the finishing line I vividly remember my first khutbah in April, spoken about the purpose of fasting in Ramadan. And we said, as Quran tells us, the purpose is becoming closer to Allah, becoming more aware of Him, more conscious of Him, more righteous more pious, to have sense of fear. It's called taqwa. And we said that Ali radiallahu anh said that a taqwa means to recognize al-jaleel, the great one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said that الخوف من الجليل والعمل بالتنزيل and acting upon the book upon the Quran والرضا بالقليل being content with little and then he said والاستعداد ليوم الرحيل and being prepared for the day of departure this is what taqwa really means. It's an asset that can help us in dunya and the akhirah. Imam al-Ghazali, rahmatullahi alayhi, said that taqwa is the great treasure, an amazing and precious gem, valuable asset, immense profit and great wealth for one who holds it. It is almost as if all good of dunya and the akhirah is bound in it. All of dunya and the akhirah. And when we look through the Quran and a hadith, we exactly find that. Blessings of taqwa. And I want you to ask yourself, am I on this level? Have I worked hard? Or I have been slacking in terms of achieving this great quality in the month of Ramadan. Since I have at least one or two days, I should inshallah improve as much as I can. We also have said that taqwa is a fountainhead of all good morals and a shield against all types of evil, indecency and munkirat. The best provision that we could carry on this life journey 
وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى والتكون يا أولي الألباب Be mindful of Allah O people of understanding O people of intellect Yes, it is the best provision that could be acquired for any context, any situation, any condition of life. That's the reason why all Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has recorded in a Tirmidhi, Sunan of a Tirmidhi, and narrated by Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu, he said, Ittaqillah haythu ma kunt. Doesn't matter where you are, in your family, in the masjid, on the road, with people whom you know or you do not know, be mindful of Allah. Doesn't matter in which context you are. When you are mindful, it keeps you on the right track. It doesn't allow you to zigzag in terms of Allah's framework of reference. That's the reason why our Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us that we often repeat dua, Allahumma inni as'aluk al huda. Among other things that Prophet peace be upon him mentioned, taqwa is out there. Oh Allah, I ask you for guidance, for taqwa, for chastity, self-sufficiency. Imagine this dua. Chastity, self-sufficiency. Then Prophet peace be upon him told us also, guidance and taqwa. Why this is so much important? Especially as we are closing the last few days of Ramadan. Because my brothers and sisters, we need to continue being mindful of Allah. Be in istiqama. And that will be our topic, inshallah, next Friday. But we must continue by being in istiqama after Ramadan. So, what are some of these blessings? First of all, Quran tells us, Be mindful, be conscious of Allah so that you could be successful. And God Almighty explains and gives us hints. These people of taqwa, they have glad tidings, good news in dunya and in the akhirah. So let me give, inshallah, a few indications of the blessings in dunya. First of all, people who are muttaqun, Allah loves them. Inna Allah yuhibbul muttaqin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them. And whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, that those people are close to Allah. Inna Allah ma'al muttaqin. And to, with whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is close, close to, He guides them. ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ This book, no doubt in it. It is a guidance for whom? المتقون. And whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, that's the one Allah will protect. He says in the Quran, Wallahu waliyun muttaqin. He's a guardian. He's protector. And whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects, those people are helped. And they are helped in many ways. Allah will help them by facilitating their affairs or easing their affairs in life, be it related to their family be it related to their relationships, be it related to their health, their wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ease their conditions because he says, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرَى Make it easy for them. And not only that, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give us an outlet for calamities. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would pull us out from conditions that are difficult. 
And we know it. We've experienced it. Things don't go well. Next morning, alhamdulillah, everything settled. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us way out. And not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ People of a taqwa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide provisions for them from the places they even cannot imagine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give it to them. And beyond that, Allah will give them honor, dignity. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was asked, Ya Rasulullah, man akram an nas? Qal akramuhum atqahum. Simple talk, huge statement. Akramuhum atqahum. The most honorable are those who have taqwa, who are righteous, who are pious, who are conscious of God. Because consciousness of God, my brothers and sisters, is some sort of a filter of not only what we do, but how we think, how we behave, what we say. It filters, and only goodness can come out of that person who is called muttaqi. And certainly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the ability to muttaqin to discern between right and wrong. To distinguish what is okay, what is not okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In tattakullah yaj'al lakum furqana. It's a criterion. It's a discern that you and I have if you are, if you are muttaqin. We know, we can distinguish that's right, that's not right. That's what I should do. That's what I should not do. And then in the Akhirah, insha'Allah, we'll get, يُكَفِّرْ عَنْكُمْ سَيِّئَاتِكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would cover your shortcomings, mistakes, and forgive. Not only that, وَيُعْضِمْ لَهُ أَجْرًا Magnify your good deeds. Subhanallah. Multiplied ten times for one, up to seven hundred, where you die for Liman Yesha, and would increase beyond that to whomsoever he will so. And he would accept oh, good deeds. And beyond that, he would guide us into Jannah, as Prophet peace be upon him said. He was asked, Ya Rasulullah. مَا أَكْثَرُ مَا أُدْخِلُ النَّاسَ الْجَنَّةِ قَالَ تَقْوَ اللَّهِ وَحُسْنُ الْخُلُقِ What is the most? What are the things? What are actions? What are deeds that would take most people into paradise? He said, تَقْوَ اللَّهِ وَحُسْنُ الْخُلُقِ Being mindful of Allah and good morals, good character. Subhanallah. And in the month of Ramadan, as we pointed out at the very early stage, it is the time for moral or behavioral modification. When we really remove those bad habits from our lives, and we all know it, during Ramadan, alhamdulillah, we are much more stricter in terms of our behavior or actions. Not only that, Allah would save us from the fire. And give us an opportunity to be close to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you are muttakhun. Because Prophet, peace be upon him, said, In the awl nas be al-muttaqun. The closest people to me are people of al-taqwa. And he loved these people. That's the reason why you find often, throughout a hadith, and Sirah of Prophet, peace be upon him, that those mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were very close to him in his heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who would cherish this beautiful quality. In these few more days of Ramadan, and continue cherishing it, inshallah, throughout the year until next of, month of Ramadan. And that would, inshallah, be over istiqama in our deen. Persistence in all what Allah loves. In all, all what would bring us closer to Allah and what would make us nearer and dearer to Him.
واستغفروا في اليوم 100 مره راينا احسن الكلام وابلغ النظام كلام الله ملك العزيز العلام كما قال الله تبارك وتعالى في نظم الكلام واذا قرئ القران فاستمعوا له وانصتوا لعلكم ترحمون اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الدين عند الله الاسلام الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين. نستعين تعظيما لنبيه وتكريما لفخامة الشأن الشرف صفيه قال عز وجل من قائل مخبرا وعامرا ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتوب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب الرحيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب ربنا اغفر لنا ولجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الاحياء منهم والاموات برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا رب العالمين اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا رب العالمين اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا رب العالمين والله we ask of you to make us of those who will continue maintaining strength of our islamic identity we ask of you our rab to help us help our children maintain their islamic identity in this part of the world we ask of you our rab to make us of those who be an example to others be they muslims or non muslims of what islam is all about we ask of you our rab to help those who are du'afa who are weak those affected by injustices across the globe or brothers and sisters in quds palestine or brothers and sisters in india kashmir or brothers and sisters in syria or brothers and sisters in yemen or brothers and sisters uh, across the globe in afghanistan or brothers and sisters across the globe as well as all good human beings who don't have protection of of other humans سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون